All right, Laura has $720 and saves $30 a week. Taylor has $1,200 and spends $30 a week. In how many weeks will Taylor and Laura have the same amount of money? How much money will that be? So this is an interesting problem because we have Laura who is putting money into a savings account. She's adding $30 a week. Right now she has $720. Is Taylor saving or is Taylor spending? Taylor had been saving and has more money, but now is spending down $30 a week. And at some point, they're going to end up at the same dollar amount. Because one's putting in 30 a week and the other's taking out 30 a week. We just want to find out what that is. So we know we've got weeks. One of our let statements has to be about weeks, doesn't it? I'm going to say W is equal to weeks. Anybody want to guess what the other variable should be about? M for the amount of money. It's about the amount of money. I'm not going to use M. I'm going to use T for total. But you could use M for money. That works too. Okay? Now, when I write systems like this, where we have one person is getting one equation and the other person is getting the other equation, I write their names next to it. This was a question in third period. Should we make variables for Laura and Taylor? No, we shouldn't. We want to use the same variables in both equations, but we want to keep track of what's Laura doing and what is Taylor doing. Take a look at the first sentence. What is Laura doing? She has $720, and is she adding to it or subtracting from it? Adding. How much is she adding? 30 per, and it's going to equal her total when they're at the same place. Or the M, right? Anybody use a different variable besides total or M for money? So what do we think Taylor's equation is going to be now? Taylor's starting at 1,200. Adding or subtracting? So again, we will come back to this another day when you have not spent half of the day at school taking a math test in the morning, and we'll find out what those numbers are. But for now, I want you to turn the page and take what we've done with these three together and see if how many more of these you can come up with the let statements and the equations for, okay?